Okay, I finished sewing the dot. Just the dot. So, I measure, you have to take the measurement of the waist to make sure it's okay for the person. Measure the bust to make sure there's enough allowance. You can get the measurement of the person correctly and accurately. Okay, so we are going to do the same thing to the back of the dress. panel of the dress the back there is skirt part of the dress and then you take one part of the bodice the back one right side to right side Remove the stones and bead first. Okay. And then so. the same to the other one right side to right side To right side. See, this is the wrong side. That's the wrong side. That's the wrong side of the skirt, the bottom part of the dress. That's the wrong side of the body, the top part of the dress. So I'm just going to join them together at the waist section. I'm just going to stitch the polycotton down on the body so it stays down properly. okay uh, so I'm sewing the back now I want to show you something the back of this dress has sorry I just moved the camera a bit. the back of the dress has like a little tear a little flare on this part here so in order for it to be more fitting on the person when she wears it I'm still sewing the zip section but this part it's also part of the zip section but then it has a flare so I'll just show you so if you happen to be sewing making this particular dress and you want to make it exact like this when you get to this place here just use the shop to mark it when you get to this place here which I showed on the when I was cutting the video uh, cutting the the dress I showed you this part when you get to this part, 
you want to go in a bit you want to go in like as if you are sewing a, a mini circle when you bring it outward i'll show you when i finish sewing it and i'll show you how it looks like that just to give the person a nice fitting and you wear it So the airline looks very nice. We are sewing the fabric with stone and bead. You have to be careful so you don't break your needle. Make sure you remove all the beads from the part you are going to sew and the stones. And just cut them off. So this is the zip allowance. I've sewn it together. This is the easiest way to sew a zip if you are struggling to sew a zip. I've sewn the zip allowance together. I've sewn it together already as you can see. I've sewn the zip allowance together. What I'm going to do afterwards is I will open the zip allowance out. If you have the iron, iron it. I will open the zip allowance out and then I move the fabric to this side. See, I move the, the whole dress the back part of the dress to one side and the zip allowance you see the zip allowance is just on its own so i normally lie it flat like that i lie it flat like this and then i take the zip i use this normally i use this zip because they are stronger you take the zip and then you put it there on the next stitch i'll show you in a minute I just want to show you this part. This is the back, central back of the dress. We've put a bit of a flare at this part of the back of the dress. So in order for the shape of the flare to show, when you reach the knee section, which is where my finger is now, you have to sew it like you are sewing a bit of a C shape. A C shape. Like you are sewing a C shape. That gives you the flare. You are trying to define the flare. So you sew it that way. So the flare, when the person wears it, you actually see the A-line shape. I'll do it on this part. And I'm also going to do it on the knee section. You can see I've cut it. I've cut it already. You see the shape of it? So when I'm sewing it, I will sew like almost one inches into the knee in order to, for me to get the shape of the A-line fitting at the knee and then it will flare out as well okay I'll show you that part later for now I'm going to show you how to put the zip but before I put the zip I need to put the dart at the back I need to put the back dart let me put the back dart guys and I'll come back and show you how to sew the zip again okay oh, I'm back um, I'm going to put the zip now. Zipper, zip. So, as I explained earlier on, what I do is I open the zip allowance out. You can see that I've taken the back right side to right side. I see I've separated the zip allowance. This is the zip allowance here. So, I just open one side of it out. I've changed my machine to the zipper foot. I'm using an industrial machine, so a domestic machine is different. It goes zipper foot as well. So I'm just going to show you how to sew the zip now. Unzip your zip. Take one end of the zip here. Put it on the top of the zip allowance. It's 
Kentucky clean. Clean this one down. Zip it a little bit more. And then stash. Make sure you don't put it together so you don't sew the clothes together. You want to sew it separately, see? That's a zip allowance. So make sure you free the zip allowance from the um, bodice. Free the zip allowance. Let's take it to the machine. Once you use the needle to hold the zip, you can remove the pin. can see the two back are together on this side and this is just the zip allowance I just opened one section Zip the zip back. Close the zip. Okay? And then what we are going to do now, the zip is closed. You see this other side which I haven't sewn down? We are going to sew it down to the other side of the zip allowance. You sew it down just on this edge first. On the edge here first. Okay, now you need a seam ripper. I need to open this and I'll come back to you. Okay, I'm back. I've opened the zip allowance and I've zipped the zip opened. So what I'm going to do now is take the zip the top of the zip fold it down to the back like so this is a zip allowance over here this is a zip allowance this is the zip the end of it just fold it down like that and you take the zip allowance fold it back fold it back when you fold it back this is the front of the dress this is the back now you are going to stitch on top all the way down. Fold 
Edit. Müsste ich. Okay, I'll come back and show you once I finish sewing the zip. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've sewn the zip to the back of the dress. I've sewn the zip to the back of the dress. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is take the front of the dress and the back of the dress, right side to right side, I'm going to sew them on the shoulder after that i'll sew them together at the side at the side when i get to the knee part which is what i will show you earlier on when i get to the knee part this is the knee part of the dress when i get to this part of the dress i'm going to sew in one inches which i'm going to come in by one inch so i'm going to sew the hip here when i get to the knee this is the knee section i'm going to come in by one inch with a form of like a c shape going all the way down to the a line i'll do that on both sides sew the sleeve on and then i'll come back and show you the finish outfit thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos and when i finish i'll come and show you the finished outfit thank you very much for watching bye hi guys this is the finish the finish outcome of the dress the a-line sweetheart neckline dress that i was making earlier on this is it Looking very pretty. I'll show you a bit more video of it. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.